Hi guys, I'm Ian and this is my 3D printing update. So uh, things have been a little bit quiet here of late. Illness has meant that I've uh, not been doing much printing. However, I've tried to get back into it. The CR10 over there is still suffering a little bit. There's, um, I need to do some work on the extruder and get that working again. Unfortunately, the Prusa is also suffering at the moment. I've had, since Christmas, I've had quite a few clogs. Every time I clear it, I, comes back again in fairly short order and I thought I'd, I'd got through it last time and, and once again we've, we've hit it again so cleared it out the other night and then did a test print the the test print I used the 3d print works red sparkle filament and hopefully you it should come out quite well on the camera there you should be able to see it quite nicely um, this was a uh, polygon vase that I found on Thingiverse and it was literally on the first page on Thingiverse. They were created by uh, a guy called Edge Design, he's a young Czech guy um, and it's, it's actually a really good, really nice design and it came out really well I thought. Unfortunately that was the that was the print that came out well. The very next print that I tried to do on the on the Prusa once again clogged so there's a job of work to do. You can probably see there that the uh, the extruder arm's down and uh, I'm, I'm ready to, to go to work on that machine. So, here's a question for you. You're about to buy a house, off plan, so you can't go and walk around it and see it. And the builder uh, very helpfully gives you the drawings. What do you do? Uh-huh, that's exactly what you do. You 3D print it. So, this is the current state of the... Uh, uh, house that we are hoping to move into in the middle of this year and as you can see I've put quite a de few bits of detail the idea is to kind of be able to see the the rooms the sizes the relative um, size of uh, this for example again in the red sparkle filament from 3d print works is a super king size bed and you can see just how that fits into the, the master bedroom um, so I've not got over the top in actually printing out the furniture but I've drawn quite a lot of it so that it's uh, again you can see how everything fits and it gives us a couple of ideas for the kitchen and what we're going to do on that. <coughs> the biggest part of the reason for uh, for doing this is to visualise the whole house is that uh, we've actually had quite a few changes made to the, the standard house so even when there is one available to view it's not quite the same as, as the one that we'll be getting. I think that this is uh, coming quite useful. I've got an engineering background and because of that I'm pretty good at looking at a drawing and can visualise exactly what that drawing is telling me. My wife doesn't have an engineering background and so she does tend to struggle a little bit when she's looking at the drawings and seeing how that works so it's, it does help I think for her to see this especially because the house that we're buying is actually the opposite hand to the one that we've reviewed in a, in a raw shell state. This is actually printed in filamentum PLA and it's the ivory colour. It's a really nice filament actually and it was printed on the, the flash forge. As I say it can just helps us visualise where everything's going to go so there you go. Just while I'm recording an update I suppose I could show one more thing. Uh, those that are observant may notice that something's just gone missing from, from down in this area. My maker coin, something that I designed early on, it's uh, maker coins for those that don't know is a uh, something that Angus Makers Muse came up with as a, an idea to test filament samples and that was the, the my original design. And the idea is that it kind of shows off some of the, the features of a typical print and lets you see what that filament will look like in that. Anyway so my cup pal Tom Jackson Filament Frenzy um, took my design and, uh, and printed it but printed it big nice big version of it in this gorgeous green and we'll have to get Tom to confirm what this filament is but it is it's kind of a, a glowy a day glow kind of green silky um, finish uh, it just looked really nice and uh, once I managed to sort out my space which may well be after I've moved into the new house um, um, I will be putting a lot of things on display and this will definitely be one of those because uh, I love it Okay, so that's all I really had to share this time. I'm going to get on and uh, set a print going on the Flash Forge, which seems to be reliable at the moment, and uh, also have another go, see whether I can clear the clog in the Prusa. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. 
Uh, if you like it, then hit the thumbs up and I'll speak to you soon.